Nat, um, was that the complete performance that England's been looking for at this tournament? Uh, I think so. Um, yeah, I mean, to, to, I guess, put the pressure on them as much as we could with the bat and the ball and in the field, I think that's yeah, something that we've been looking to do over this tournament, but not quite got it all right um, so far. But, yeah, I think that was pretty good, yeah. And um, is it feeling like you're confident you can now repeat that in the knockouts? Yeah, I hope so. Um, I mean, you never know what the wicket's going to do when you turn up. And, um, yeah, there's always a little period of adapting and seeing, I guess, what, what's happening. But, yeah, I think everyone's got the confidence that, that we can, I guess, repeat that and, and hopefully, yeah, take it one step further. And I guess you had other players stepping up. So Danny back in the runs, Catherine and Charlie back in the wickets. I mean, does that sort of say something about the, the depth? And we know you've had it, but the use of your depth as a team? Yeah, I think so. Um, obviously, you know, people can't repeat every time. I mean, cricket's a weird sport. Things happen and, and yeah, someone, you know, could get a duck tomorrow that got runs today. But, um, yeah, I guess that's why as a batting group and as a bowling group, we're, we're really strong and especially have the depth, like you said. Um, and, yeah, just on any day, we're, we're confident that someone will stand up. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Imran Ahmed from Pakistan. Congratulations to made a biggest, highest score record in T20 World Cup history for women. You are most favorite team of this event. What is the strategy of your semi-final match? That it will be a crucial match. What is your strategy? Um, I guess much of the same that we've been doing so far. Um, whoever you know the opponents will be. Um, yeah, we want to be able to put them under pressure when we're batting and really focus on taking wickets as much as we can with the ball. And, and yeah, I guess trying to be calm and, and I guess, adaptable in that. Um, you know, a team, teams can always come at us and, um, yeah, I guess it's how we um, react to that and, yeah, put the pressure back on them. Not now, you're currently the leading tournament run scorer, and Heather Knight's recently described you as the best player in the world. Do you agree? <laughs> oh, that's a difficult question. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm having a good time. So, um, yeah, it's always nice to be, I guess, so, um, described like that. But, um, yeah, I'm just really happy with, with the group that we've got together and, and really, I guess, enjoying playing cricket with this team. What's going right for you? Um, well, I guess it's coming out the middle of the bat. Um, uh, today, I hit. I think I hit more on the offside today than I have done previously, which I was quite happy with. Um, but yeah, I'm, I guess my technique's in a good place, but it's, it's probably more about the mindset and just continuing that as much as I can. Um. I don't know. <gasps> <laughs> You can go if you want. Yeah, Thank yeah. you, Chris. Uh, <laughs> congratulations, Nat. Uh, since a large part of the narrative around this World Cup has been the fact that Australia have set such a precedent in terms of their depth, the rest of the teams come across as that they are trying to play catch up. But today, England showed that they have, as Valkyrie mentioned, something of their own kind of depth. But has England ever sort of tried taking a leaf out of how well Australia use their resources and how their players are able to come into the starting 11, even if they're on their bench, and play match-winning, uh, impactful roles? Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're always, you know, to be the best in the world, you have to beat the, you know, the current best in the world. Um, and yeah, they, they, Australia have been very consistently at the top of their game for a really long time. Um, at the moment, we're, we're trying to focus on, on ourselves and not look too outwardly at other teams. Um, you know, in the past, we've probably done that quite a lot and it's not really worked out for us. Um, so, yeah, I guess as a group, we are working towards, well, wanting to be number one in the world. Um, but the way we're doing it is the most important thing um, and the way that everyone is really bought in and, and believes in the way that we're playing will win us games, will win us tournaments. Um, I think that's the most important thing.
And a standout facet in England's batting performance over the past couple of matches has been how you have been able to mount a counter-attack despite the early loss of wickets. Can you talk us through a bit how the team, the batting group, goes about strategizing such situations where there could be a loss of wickets in a heap and yet you play a big role and some of the others around you like Amy Jones. Can you tell us a bit about that strategy, please? Yeah, um, I think as a group we've, we've really agreed with everyone that the plan A is to put the pressure back on the other team. Um, whether that's a, a wicket, a dot, a, you know, whatever it is. And really, it's just been the switch of that mindset, not so from not, oh, I, I need to knock it around and get a partnership together. It's the how. Um, you're still taking it to the bowler. You're trying to put them under pressure and stick to your strengths, basically. Um, like, I, I've probably paddled earlier than I would have done in previous innings, um, gone to a reverse or whatever it is. But each batter has their... Um, you know their go-to shots that they they know if it comes off it will you know give them a boundary but it's all about execution I guess and not really thinking about or oh, you know if I get out here we're going to be in trouble because that negativity will, will just I guess play out a bit more. Um, Nat, when a team puts in a performance as emphatic as that pretty much perfect um, how much of that is 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 planning and 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 how much is professionalism and just the team dynamic taking over? Um, that's a, a hard one as well. Um, we we did, I guess, sort of target this game to... Uh, it, previously in the tournament, I think, we've been building up to a performance like this. We sort of targeted this game as a chance to show everyone as a team what we're about. And, um, yeah, I guess it being the last game in our group as well... Um, it was yeah a free chance to show off a bit and and I guess do the do the things that we do really well as a group. Brilliant. If that's everyone finished in the room, we'll quickly come to Sonia on Zoom. If you want to unmute yourself and ask your questions. Hi, Nat. Um, we've obviously seen the men's team break records, and today you broke two of their own. Is that something you sort of set out to do to sort of push the boundaries of what's been done before? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, it's yeah something that Louis has definitely um, asked us to, I guess, push. Um, you know, he is finding random records that we have beaten, so no, you know, not the standard ones. Um, but yeah, it's it's important, I guess, for us to be pushing ourselves and pushing our standards higher and higher. Um, and yeah, I guess if we can do that consistently, the the world is ours, really. And just looking back from when you started your career and how far women's cricket's gone, you know, a few years ago, people weren't talking that scores of 200 would be possible. So what do you think it feels now having sort of broken that? Yeah, it's, it's I guess, something we don't... I mean, I, some people do look at scores and, you know, what's a par score on the wicket or, or whatever it is. Um, I don't really... I'm not very good at answering that question, so I don't really think about that white and batting, but... I think the the way that we've approached our, our batting um, and tried to continue on the momentum that um, Dunks, Danny, Alice, they've all been putting us in a brilliant position in the power play and in the middle order we've really tried to continue that rate. So, um, yeah, I guess that does mean we'll be pushing up the scores here. Thanks, Matt. Good luck in the semis. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. That concludes the press conference.